Um, please acknowledge shit. I'm going through a complicated relationship with 975 at the moment. So, hi everyone, my name is Tegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about um, Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the World, which is a sequel to. Do I have it? I do not have the first one. It's a sequel to Ari and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which is a book that I love and I hold so close to my heart. I was gifted an like ebook advanced reader copy from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. And I'm just going to say this is a, a very positive review. And I know this book doesn't officially come out until October time or November time. So this is just going to be a review of the vibes and the feelings. <laughs> Maybe closer to the time I'll post a more detailed, not really a spoilery review, but something that reviews more the events of the book in some kind of detail rather than just me gushing over it. Also just like a heads up, it's going to be hard to review this book without comparing it to the first one, but I think I need to so you can understand what I'm trying to say without giving spoilers or saying anything that isn't already in the book description. The description for this book on Goodreads is very detailed. <laughs> I also want to say that I can't pronounce Aristotle properly, it takes me a lot of conscious effort to say it and I don't know if it's Ari or Ari. I'm gonna lean towards Ari even though that reminds me of Ariana Grande. So it's similar to the first novel, the chapters in this book are very short and full of very crisp but lyrical prose and perfect dialogue. The formatting of this ebook was also a bit scuffed so it was a challenge to read at points but I, st I still enjoyed it. It's another quiet story but noticeably less gentle than the first. It's still emotional and painful and beautiful. So while the first book was about two boys who meet at a swimming pool and slowly fall in love over the course of about two years, this one is about those same two boys discovering what it means to stay in love and forge a path for themselves in a world that doesn't understand them or accept their existence. As like I said, the first one takes place over about two years. This one, I think it's less than a year. It's, it's on a shorter timeline, but I'm not... I don't fully remember what the timeline was, I'm pretty sure it's less than a year. This book also focuses on Ari falling in love with his life and creating something that is truthfully and joyfully his own, as well as building relationships outside of Dante. Ari is still beautiful and angry and sweet, but there's something extra about him this time around. There's also a few references from other characters about him becoming a man, and I think that's that that's a good summary of what's different about his character. The most important thing I can say about this book is this. Um, the only flaw is that it's not the first book. And that's not a bad thing. I'm still trying to master the right words for this analogy, but um, Discover the Secrets of the Universe felt like reading a book for the first time with all the magic and sparks and whimsy. But Dive into the Waters of the World felt like a second read. You have the same amount of love and joy for it, but this time it's a comfort read. And this book is the perfect sequel because it captures the same feelings of, as the first. It's got a lot of similar themes and emotions and, and um, it feels like the book just didn't, the first book just didn't end, it just kept going. It feels like that. And it, it just feels familiar this time around. And I still don't have the right words to say it. It's just, it, it's just such a good sequel because it captures the first and there's a lot of books that have like, a lot of trilogies that have second book blues and the second book is not good. There's a lot of books, what do we have up here? I think I have a lot of trilogy examples where the second book, I know was the carry on, the Rainbow, the Rainbow Rowell carry on series, the second book the plot has to completely change from the first for it to still be good. With um, Cordella Hawk and Mr. Impossible, they're books that are too similar but in a bad way. But the, the Ari and Dante books, they are just so intertwined and they are meant, they are meant to be. 
and I still don't know the word to describe this. So I've never read a sequel that is as good as the first, but still has the same joy from it. Th this is just rambling at this point. I didn't even write this in my review. So I won't give away or even hint at the ending events, which was about the last five to 10% of the ebook as it's still very far away from publication date, but I can't stop thinking about them. When did I write this review? Tuesday. I started reading the book on Monday. I finished it on Tuesday. I wrote the review on Tuesday, which is the fastest I've ever written a review. <laughs> and it's, it's, Thurs it's July now. It's Thursday now. It's been two days and this book still owns all of my thoughts. There's a little reference in the ending chapters of what I've been led to believe was the original title of the book. I think I saw a review saying that it was originally called There Will Be Other Summers, which is obviously not the title that now, so I might see it for myself. But there's a reference that is very similar to the quote, There Will Be Other Summers, and that was emotionally very painful for me to read and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> well I can say that this ending um, will definitely leave the reader wanting more and I was sniffling into the ebook. I do think this there's very great potential for a trilogy. I wouldn't be mad if it was just left to two because these two books go so well together but there is potential for a third. I don't know if there's plans for a third, but there's potential. So I will leave you with this one quote, which might not even be in the final version of the book, but it says nothing about the plot, but it means everything to me. I put it on screen here as well, so you can have a little read. <coughs> one day you're going to fill these pages with words that come from you. I have a feeling that you have a long relationship with words. Who knows, they might even save you. So a full or more detailed review will either be here or on my blog or on Goodreads, close to publication date, because there is so much more that I need to put into words. I gave this book a 5 star rating on Goodreads, probably more of a 4.5 because as I said my only flaw is that it's not the first, but it's still an incredible book. I was going to do the regular outro of like if you've read this book let me know in the comments what you thought. but. It's not, not out yet. <laughs> but if you read the first book, let me know what you think in the comments. And also, are you excited for this one? Because I think I forgot it was coming out. Then I saw it in Goodreads and I was like, mine. Not on Goodreads, I saw it on NetGalley. And it became mine. I forgot it was coming out. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.